Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to the finale, which I still can't believe we're here, but <laughs> we are here of Forbidden Deductions. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Which, once again, that's clearly rope. Oh, never mind. I thought they weren't going to do the opening. But, I mean, I get it. Makes most sense, but... Mm. I still got three other shows to watch after this, so I don't know if I'm going to watch one more after this or with this and then the other two after. I think I'm probably going to do that. It's like the best thing. But then the biggest question is, once again, who freaking did it? So you think he was laying him down and pushed him to make the marks? That's smart. Crazy though, but smart. And that's why when you got there, the door is locked. And you couldn't open it, though. But how?
But you didn't have to kill him. There could have been another way. Oh, I mean, for a moment, I thought it wasn't affecting him. Somebody stop him! They all just... Grab him! Something! Oh my god, save you, G! Ain't that the rope from the shrine? Was that a little suspicious? So messed up. And they just disperse like it's nothing. Damn. Right? But you've hidden yourself for a long time. Your brother thought you were dead, possibly. Which was? 
好，晚安。But we need to know, though. Your brother needs to know. Hmm. Can't help it. Right. Don't you think there's anything else we need to do here as well? All right, going on. That was easy. Um... Did you really think it was going to be that easy? You can't just do that! Okay. Yeah, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Okay. Is this a... Oh god, it's one of those. 
Okay, please do, because <laughs> I don't feel like using my brain today. <laughs> What? Why would they want passwords for these two? Mm. Let's see. Okay, let's say this. What if the blood is so is from someone from House of M? which is also connected to House of M as well. But why? House of Moriarty. Now, not only him, but you too. That could also be the reason why she didn't want to send the files in. And of course she believes in him. So the reason why she did all of this and exiled him was really to protect him. Until it was time. Now, why I think she gonna die? I mean, because she, okay, we can kill a leader if we want to, and she is the head of blue, and it's already giving raincoat s vibes. So, what if she does die? Not now, but mainly more in the second season. Yeah, look at that one dude who was in the one case, which is what my personal second fave case with Grizzly. It is. What well, dang, we just ended like that. Okay, so final thoughts on this. I mean, yes, I love the fact is we got a little bit more on this and such. This was a damn good series. Truly underrated because I didn't really see a lot of people talk about this show. Um, all I knew from like when I wanted to watch this was I think I saw art of him months ago and I was like, oh, I gotta watch this. 
And also because, you know, big, you know, mystery girl buff and stuff and loves to learn shit and everything. But once again, the fact that it was the mayor is nuts because, like, here's my thing. Dude was tall. Hella tall. And he was super short. So I'm thinking, like, how are you literally going to strangle him? If you like, especially if your front is to his back and you're pulling him back, but you're short. And what he did was, was put the rope still behind his neck and then also pulled from the back. That's interesting. Never seen something like that before. Hey, I mean, you know, but I can't really condemn him because damn, he's not going to jail for the rest of his life. Um, criminal. But at least he got, homeboy got to see his, Fritz got to see his brother again. That's the good thing because something about that was very suspicious. I love how this show just because like the little freaking secrets and then we get into the next following week. Like, oh my God. Oh. Uh, Are we seeing Blonde Kitty Toe again? I'm guessing she dead though. My love. I have a bad feeling about this. See, see, that's a good way to end it, though. It, it still gives like a cliffhanger moment. But it's still satisfying. It's like, okay, we don't know when in the world we're getting a second season for this. Like, we know it's coming. Um, so it has to be, in my opinion, like sometime next year. So, of course not winter. So we have to look at spring, summer, and then the fall of next year as well. But if it was my thing, probably either summer or fall, which would make the most sense. But I love the dynamic of Ron and Ichiki. Like, the boyfriends. We all know they're boyfriends and such, regardless. They date and we're free freaking regardless. They're always dating. They've been dating since the first freaking episode. Yeah, there's been times where they've kind of bickered, but they're too cute together. Their relationship and their teamwork just works so much. And it, it's really wholesome and stuff. And so, like, I'm praying that neither one, nothing happens to neither one of them, except, you know, in the other show that he's saying he was in where he's pretty much depressed as fuck and I'm also depressed every single week when I watch it and, and thank god that's ending this week too because you know we finally get out of the season 2 depression leading into the season 3 depression um 
but something tells me the the leader of blue like she's gonna get killed we're we're literally going to see the millionaire detective in like the second half of this we're going to see a lot of important people dying like grizzly was the first it's about to be like crazy probably with the second half of this show maybe i don't really know but the fact is that yeah like grizzly got killed the guy who killed grizzly also got killed it, it it's really like anybody any one of these characters that we we've already met that will possibly get like any other moments in the second season even our main characters can also die anyone can die in this but <laughs> like uh, Milo is not gonna want to kill his own, his own brother. No, I take that back. I take that back. He could. This is Kirito. We talking about for Christ's sake. So Kirito, if he really wanted to kill his own his other brother, he do it. He do it. Like we we know him. We know him in any other series that he's done, especially when he is playing like the delicious bad guy in a way. So it's gonna happen. He might not kill him. He might just, you know, have one of his other siblings, which Winter, um, the other one, any anybody who was in house with him, just be like, oh no, go ahead and have a little fun with him. Stabby stab. Or, you know, stab Ichiki. Stab his little boyfriend. Something like that. I don't really know. But like, yeah, this was really good. I'm really hoping that we get like more mystery shows. I mean, yeah, you still have Detective Conan. Um, of course, you had the Millionaire Detective, which was hugely underrated due to, like, having this big, fast, um, fandom that grew every single week by, like, the third or fourth episode, and then, you know, due to COVID, um, COVID kind of killed the show and the hype for it, so that when the show finally returned and finished, it really died after it finished it. It was really crazy because, like, I think, what? three or four weeks after the show finished airing, like, nobody was talking about that. But, I mean, this, this is clearly a little bit better, in my opinion. But, yeah, it was good. I hate the fact that it's over now, for now. But, yeah, well, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm always truly sad when a show ends. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards, really, the entirety of season one of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all later on in this week for the last couple of shows for their finales, respectively. Um, and then, eventually, in the next couple of weeks for the start of Winter Anime. And then, all these other things that I have planned. Because I do have a lot of other things planned to do. But, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!